In this video, we'll do the bonus problems for test six in the 2013 AP Physics course. Uh, what is the weight of a 74 kilogram astronaut on Earth? This is very much just one of the homework problems that you were assigned and just checks that you know that weight is equal to mg. 74 kilograms, whoops, missing my four, times 9.8 meters per second squared plug all that in you get about 725 newtons okay the second problem what forces need to accelerate a child on a sled given the total mass this is just basically an F equal MA problem force equal mass times acceleration of course we know it's the net force um, this is equal to 60 kilograms times 1.18 meters per second squared and we punch all that and it's 70.8 newtons actually that's the magnitude of the force and the acceleration will be in the direction of that force but they didn't say what is the magnitude they just said what's the force but they meant magnitude and then the last one which is a review of our knowledge of kinematic equations is to take a football. Uh, the football is sitting here. Uh, let me try to undo. Let's see if I can do a better job drawing a football. Okay. Not a very good one with this pen. Um, football is going to take off with some speed. That speed is 15 meters per second. Uh, it has an angle with respect to the ground. That angle is 40 degrees. That's theta. So that's theta. That's V naught. Uh, it asks how much later does it hit the ground. So it's going to follow a parabolic path. Do, 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 do. And somewhere over here it's going to hit the ground. And of course we're neglecting in all of this problem air drag and such things. So. A projectile motion problem we fill out our chart x equal y equal v x not equal v x equal v y not equal v y equal a x equals zero meters per second squared a y equal minus g v not is 15 meters per sec theta is 40 degrees T is unknown we have an axis as always I'm going to declare this as X not equal 0 meters I don't know what this value is 0 meters <coughs> I'm going to declare this as Y equals 0 meters so both Y not and y are zero meters. We're going to need to find the components of this velocity triangle vx naught and vy naught. vx naught is v naught cosine of theta which is 15 meters per second times the cosine of 40 degrees and that's approximately 11.5 meters per second so we'll put that in here and the x component velocity does not change in the problem because there's no acceleration for v y naught it's v naught sine of theta because we're looking at the opposite side of the triangle and that's 15 meters per second times the sine of 40 degrees we punch that we get 9.64 meters per second 9.64 meters per second alright I do not know the final velocity in the y direction when it hits I look at this I do not know x I have three unknowns you should only have three unknowns when you work one of these two dimensional and you have four kinematic equations one of those equations is that y is equal to y naught plus v y naught t plus one half 
acceleration in y times time squared. But final location in y is 0, and the initial location in y was 0. So we mark those two out. We have 0 is equal to v y naught minus g over 2 times t times t, where I factor it out of time. Now, either this term has to be 0, that has to be 0, or both. Well, it turns out in this case, mathematically, this one will be 0 at the final time. This term is 0 at the initial, and they're not both 0 at the same time. Okay? So, t equals 0, well, that's when it started. That's not what I want to know. I want to know later. That is, t has to be greater than 0. So we have n t has to be greater than 0. That is, it's got to be after the ball was kicked. So that means this term here has to be 0. Okay, so that says the g over 2 t has to equal v y naught, or t is equal to 2 v y y naught divided by g. That's what they asked me to find. How much later? Well, that's 2 times 9.64 meters per sec divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And we simply plug that in and get our answer. So our time t is approximately well, that's just a little bit less than this number. So if this number was 2. If these were 1, it'd be 2. But the numerator here is a little less than that, so it'll be less, less than 2. And in fact, when we punch a calculator, find it's 1.97 seconds. And that's the end of the test. Hopefully you all did well on the test. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Okay, I'll see you in another video.